Hello friends, welcome back to module two, lesson 4.1. Today we're gonna to be talking about the five common deadly pitfalls to avoid when creating your customer avatar. This is something that is super, super important guys. In the beginning of our module, we talked about the golden trifecta, which is the middle part right here, which is the overlaying of the three different components, the elements that we need to consider when opening a thriving, profitable restaurant. We covered the concept, we covered the location, and today we're gonna to be covering your customers. So make sure that you guys keep watching and take notes. So why would you even need a customer avatar? First of all, what is it? A customer avatar even customer avatar is basically who is it that you want to serve to that one ideal person that you really want to have your concept served to why is it important because this act as your blueprint um, what exactly are they struggling with what are their goals what are their desires what experiences do they like the more you know about your customer avatar the better you can cater their experience to them so then that way they feel like that hey you know what this restaurant is created specifically for me and thus they'll come over and think about you all the time it is your starting point and it is also your filter for all your messagings your marketing your food your design everything you create is specifically for your customer avatar in the lessons actually in the link below i've included the customer avatar that we created for our ice cream shop and it is because we were so cautious and so aware and intentional with our customer avatar that we're able to create everything from our new items to our campaigns to the collaborations that we have all catered towards Michelle which is this girl right here that her name is Michelle and these are the different items that she um, she enjoys is she enjoys close relationship with her family friends specifically the social media um, interest in hobbies Netflix shopping raves EDM core values they like balance they they have a purpose in life um, and brands H&M Forever 21 Aritzia they love to shop online and some of their values experience the world because of the fact that we're able to fine-tune them we were able to grow to more than seven locations be just because of this simple but super effective strategy that I'm sharing with you now before you create your avatar which is in the next lesson and we're gonna dive all into how you can create your own avatar today we're gonna to be talking about the five common pitfalls they're common but super deadly let's dive right in the first one is being a generalist being a generalist because at the end of the day we want to be able to appeal to the masses we want to be able to sell to everyone we don't want to shut doors we don't want to shut down opportunities i totally get it because i've been there and i've done that and it is a little bit counterintuitive it is a little bit out of the comfort zone but when you start talking to everyone you end up talking to no one because your message is too dispersed whereas you would want to be very specific on who you're talking to and what is the problem that you solve specifically for them. Talking and solving a specific problem to a family is very different than solving a problem to a millennial. And that's the reason why you need to be very specific and that's the best way to stand out at this current stage is that you need to niche down to your specific clientele. Second pitfall is the unicorn syndrome, guys. What is the unicorn syndrome? Thinking that your business or your concept or your customers are super unique to you. Guys, they're not unique at all. They're not like unicorns. A lot of people have created very, very successful business serving the same crowd. So don't try to reinvent the wheel thinking that, you know what, everything is just completely new. It is, um, it is different. You know what, Wilson, you haven't heard about this. This is like a world changing, groundbreaking concept. And my clientele is just gonna, it's just gonna be uh, suitable for everyone. No, I can almost guarantee you that that's not the case. Out of all the like dozens and dozens and dozens of restauranteurs that I've seen or you know hundreds of different profiles that I've studied there isn't really a unicorn out there specifically in this industry okay people's psychology hasn't really changed throughout the hundreds of the years so the the the, the items and the know-hows and the how-tos I'm going to be sharing with you are really going to be able to test face the test of time third thing is not talking to real people you come up with an assumption. You think that, you know what, your concept is going to be amazing. You do all your research online. You see that it's super helpful. You talk to your friends and your family. Great. 
but you fail to talk to the real people who are going to be buying from you. Usually friends and family, they expect a discount, they expect you to treat them, but you need to talk to real life people to get your data. You need to talk to these people to, to actually understand the nuances of, hey, are my assumptions correct? Is it the flavor that they want? To share a story with you, before we actually launched new flavors uh, with our ice cream shop, we interviewed more than 2,000 people in the span of roughly three months. Three months we took, we interviewed 2,000 people, we understood exactly why, and that's the reason why we were able to create Michelle. These stats and these information are created and extracted from Michelle, from the surveys that we were able to collect from them and by talking to real people. And these insights from the actual people is super, super valuable. Like just by talking to them, you understand the language they use and these minor little hints to showcase the nuances are all in talking to real people, right? It also validates your research in person conversation. So it's really, really important. Do not skimp out on this process, guys. Make sure you talk to real people. Rigid avatar. Your avatar does not stay static and constantly needs to be refined. This is something that even big restaurants and big companies are doing all the time. Why is that the case? You could have done this today and next year your avatar grows with you and your business as well. Initially, when we first created our ice cream shop, we were tailoring to millennials. And yes, we still cater to millennials right now. However, the millennials for the throughout the five years all have graduated already. They're now going into the next stage in their career, in their lives. So now if, they, if we still want them as a loyal customer and, and a loyal patron, then we need to evolve with them as well. We need to have different offerings to offer to them as the, as the business um, changes and as the business evolves. Same thing with the social media platforms. Five years ago, there was no TikTok. Today, TikTok is one of the most prevalent social media out there. So we need to be able to adapt and change with the times. The last common pitfall is rushing. Building a customer avatar takes a lot of time, guys. Just because you sit down for a day to identifying it, it doesn't mean you're done and over with. It's an ongoing process. So make sure to take your time with it. Don't rush because you're just gonna end up failing because you're not, um, you're not fully informed. So take your time with it. And, and really enjoy the process, okay? Do not rush through it, do not just sit down, finish it, and boom, I'm done. Let's go on to the next step, because it's not like that. Go out there, verify it, feel for it, that's the one. You need to feel your customers, feel what is it that they're going through, and the more research you do, the better you're gonna be able to communicate with them. So today, you've learned the five common but super deadly pitfalls when creating your customer avatar. Next up, we're gonna be talking about the four steps in creating your ideal customer avatar. That's the next part to this lesson. I'll see you guys in the next lesson.